Pisces. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be your general reading for what to expect this summer. Any information you all need, you can find it within the description box down below, including a link to my Patreon page. There will be a clarified version um, over there of this reading, and it'll start out with a yes or no question. Um, so the link for that is down below. I also have personals open and uh, a tarot course, Pisces, if you're interested in that. I have that open as well, so all that information is down below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in a chance to win a free personal reading, okay? So let's go ahead and start here. Wow, two tens. Okay. Alright, so your overall energy here, Pisces, is strength. Underneath that, you have the chariot. So we have a Cancer card here with the, uh, or, uh, with the chariot. We have Leo with the strength card. Now, for your month of June, you have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Um, I actually feel, Pisces, as if you're giving something a lot of attention, or some of you could have some uh, commitment in the month of June. There could be some commitment with a Taurus or a fellow water sign here for some. This could be something that does lead to marriage later on down the road, if that's something that you're interested in. If not, this could be someone that maybe you have a family with, you end up living with. Overall, though, I feel that you're committing to something. Uh, some of you have a lot of admirers in the month of June with this Three of Pentacles. Um, you're giving something a lot of attention. Uh, you're working really hard on on something here you have the hair font um, people people think really highly of you here in the month of June I feel and it's bringing you a lot of uh, connection okay that's how this feels to me with the ace of cups even if that's not romantic connection feels like spiritual connection Pisces so that's very exciting uh, in the month of July though you have the Magician, you have the Ten of Swords, and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So what's going on here? We have Gemini energy, we have Virgo. Um, somebody here could have Mercury in Virgo Pisces, but something is definitely coming to an end, okay? Um, so... <laughs> I feel like there's something that you wanted here that's ending, all right? Now, I know that's probably not something that you want to hear, but it's just that's what fate has in store. Like, there's something here that you just desperately wanted, but it's just not meant for you to have that. However, I feel that as soon as this ends, like, there's something else that you see here um, where you're like, okay, well, I can definitely get with that. It's almost like you're being given something that you didn't know you wanted, Pisces. So um, whether that's like a new job, maybe a job ends and you get something that's much more rewarding or that is better paying, right? I feel like you manifest this ending through um, some higher level of self-respect, you know, just realizing that you deserve more, that you can do more, you can be more. Immediately something ends because of this realization. And, you know, when that takes place, something that's much more valuable comes in, something that's much more um, long-lasting and secure uh, arrives for you. Now, in the month of August, you have this Eight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords, and you have the Two of Swords. So the month of August is going to be pretty juicy, I feel. Um, there's definitely, while you're working through this, obviously, when you have a come up from the Ten of Swords, right? You pull those swords out of your back, you move on, you build, right? Because you have this Ten of uh, Pentacles here. And the Strength card is your overall energy. Underneath that, we have the Chariot, right? That's fortitude, for movement. It's triumph, you know? So I feel like you have gone through some sort of struggle. And so this Queen of Swords, whoever this Queen of Swords is here, this could be a Virgo or a Libra, doesn't have have to be but somebody's definitely watched you get back up and it's kind of surprising to them I feel like there are a lot of questions uh, coming at you here in the month of August Pisces um, well are you sure you are right to end this well you know what if this happens with that and you can't get this back I feel like there are a lot of seeds of doubt being planted you're definitely working through those but these are also some signs that there is more that has to go there's more that has to leave your life two of swords so that's where I see you learning to uh, close yourself off from specific energies and protect yourself, you know, uh, protect your energy at all costs here, Pisces. That's what I'm getting for you, okay? So go ahead and think of your yes or no question. If you are uh, following me over on Patreon, we are. there's a link down below. Go ahead and think of that. This is going to be your yes or no question for the summer, okay? So we're going to answer that over there. Then I'm going to do a recap of what I was seeing here, and then I'm going to get into the clarification, okay, Pisces? So um, I hope that you will watch out for your other signs. Uh, but if this is where we part, uh, don't forget about the personals. Don't forget about the tarot course. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok for a chance to win. 
win a free personal. So all the information you need, Pisces, is going to be down below in that description box if you're interested in any of those things I just listed. Um, and there's a link to the Patreon page as well. So we're headed over there now, Pisces. I want to thank you so much for being here, for watching, supporting me, and you all enjoy your summer. Bye.